Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I thought I'd uh, I just mixed up a little bit more of the colors I just used, but I thought I would um, use everything that was on my table, and I just want to darken the white just a little bit. As you can see, if you add a little bit of that uh, Van Dyke brown, you get a sort of Titan buff. That's pretty, yep. Okay, so I put everything, I scraped it up, put it in the cup. And this time I'm going to be doing a round canvas. And I thought I would dump that on there first. Then come in with another um, pour over it. So as to make sure that I have enough paint. Now, um, one of the things, the questions that I get asked quite a lot. Woo wow, look at that. <laughs> that is pretty. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, one of the questions I get quite a lot is um, if I gesso my canvases. And um, to tell you the truth, I don't because they are pre-gessoed. So that fixes that question, I hope. Because um, I don't want to be bothered, you know, doing the uh, gesso thing. It's a lot of work. And if you can buy them pre-gessoed, why not? Let me get the rest of the paint out of the cup. There it is. And I am really, I think this has to do with um, the pouring medium, the one I made. Because it works really well. And if you make it with the same ingredients, I'm sure it's going to work for you too. Too bad, you know, you can't do too much with the uh, with this because it turns one color. That's what they call uh, turning muddy. But this is kind of fun. Let us do that. Wow, that wouldn't be a bad pour at all. That looks pretty. Let me give it a little bit of heat because I'm always curious to what would happen if I torch that. And I'm not totally used to this uh, heat tool yet, but I, I think it does something uh, a lot different than my um, than my other one, the Cook's Torch. It's like it, it expands the cells just a little bit more than the Cook's Torch, so that might be a good thing. Okay, let me get a clean cup. And I had a couple of people asking me if I could do a, um, wow, that is beautiful. I could make beautiful macros out of that bit there. Let me get you down so you can really see it. That is pretty, isn't it? This has some uh, exciting stuff going on in it, but we're going to pour over it. Yes, we are. I'm sorry, but we have to. Let me put that in the middle. That's on uh, the middle. Now I've got a big blotch of paint on my screen, but that doesn't matter as long as you're having fun. So we're going to start off. Oh, I forgot to add the silicone. I'm going to put silicone in the white and in the light turquoise just a little stir another little stir okay now we're gonna do some white then some light turquoise some dark turquoise some light yellow Some very beautiful orange, and I want some on the top here. See that? Then some nice bright green. I want that to surface on the top. 
then I'm going to put in from high up high. I'm going to put in the brown. There it goes. Oh, we got cells. And I'm going to put in a little bit more of the white. A little bit more of the turquoise. I think that's about it. And I have my syringe loaded up with gold, which I will put a little bit in here. That's good. And now, now let's just pour it. Let's give it a little swirl like that. And now I'm going to pour. And here we go. Looking pretty. Whoops, I wanted to come down back here. And this is too much moving, but who cares? It's just, you know, making a good thing of a lot of paint that went on the uh, table. And I do think I want this bit off because now it doesn't match. There it goes. Well, that looks kind of pretty. Let's see what the torch does or the, the heat tool. Let me clean my hands if I can find my little clothy cloth. Don't know where I, oh, there it is on the ground. I don't know who did that. Probably me because no one else comes up here. So, um, Let's see, heat tool. We're going to heat up a little. That's about it, but do I like it? Absolutely not. I don't like it. So now we have to go into damage control mode. See if we can do something special. I really think it's an ugly, <laughs> really ugly pour. I haven't had such an ugly pour in a long, long while. It's probably because of all the uh, paint that's uh, you know, I've been turned to mud a little bit. I think it has something to do with it. And I think I want some more of this in here. And I don't see any gold at all. And I really put a lot of gold in there. But I don't see it coming up. Shall I put something else in there? No, I don't think so. So let's make some ribbons. That's about it. Wow, those ribbons are amazing. I don't know if you can see the uh, details in them. Wow, they're beautiful. I'm going to leave it like that. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. They are really pretty. I'm going to come in with my uh, torch because I think the torch does a better job. You know, you can just uh, do uh, very direct, very controlled uh, torching. That's it. And now I'm going to come in with my gold. So people that don't like my gold, please look away. Go to the kitchen. Get a cup of coffee. It's going to be over in a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's see if I can do this in one. Oh, no. It's giving up. And yeah, we can fix that. 
I missed a little bit here. That's good. Now I'm going to do this one. Oh, it's giving up. Why are you giving up on me? Oh, it's something in there. It's stuck, I think. <laughs> That's just my luck. Came out all at once. Well, it might be fun. Who knows? Put some big blotches on there. <laughs> Let's do another one. That's a big one. I do want to um, heat it up a little. Well, it looks like it belongs there. Let's see if it works now. Yes, it does. There was just something in there. I don't know what it was. Now I think it's looking better. Yeah. Except for the big blotch there. Let's see if I can pull some out. There's two. Oh, yeah, see, there's something hard in it. Making it a little bit smaller. That'll work. I gotta get something else. Just a tiny bit smaller. It. Yep, that's okay. I can live with that. And I want some here. Got some contamination going on, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get some more in this syringe. What you really need is a just a little bit thicker needle. And someone asked me uh, the needle that I had, and I can't really tell you because I don't know. I think it has something to do with the color of the tip. I think it has to do with this color here that that says, you know, how big the gorge is. So this one is pink, but I don't see anything on it. I don't see any numbers, no nothing. Yep, I am very satisfied with this. There's a little gold over there, a little gold down going down there, maybe here. That's it. Guys down. Let's see up close. That gold will be popping once it's dry. That'd be cool. And the whole piece, there it is. Kind of busy, but it's okay. Now I'm going to show you the other one. This is the one I did this morning. You can see the gold uh, really sort of uh, did its own thing. I don't mind. I think that is so. Uh, it adds to the picture. It's okay. That's the one of yesterday. 
and that's still my brother-in-law's one who is now almost totally dry that worked out too okay people I am going to oh I really love that one that looks pretty okay I'm going to uh, clean up the mess and uh, a couple of people asked me to do a um, uh, 4th of July one but I think I'll do that tomorrow yeah and I still have a commission piece to do a 40 by 40 four cup flip that one you see the, the thing is when I do commissions I have to feel really good about a commission so I have to really feel like you know it's something inside you can't just do that and expect it to come out spectacular you have to have some feeling inside that you know, you really want to go for it. Yeah. So I'm sure a lot of you understand that. <clears throat> right now I'm a bit tired. So this is going to be the last video for today. I'm going to answer some questions. And then I'm going to take some time out on the couch with my little poochie and with my husband. So um, see you tomorrow. I hope you all have a fantastic Saturday. And for the people mixing up paint, have a good one. Make some beautiful art. See you in the next video.